All right, so this is how to get the best jug shake that I can provide. <laughs> so the first thing you're gonna do is make an adjustment layer that's the size of your clip and then add dissolve shake, if I can spell it right. I'm just gonna scroll down so it's easier. So you're gonna turn off the route X and the route Y, make sure you have motion talent in your clip. Really quickly make uh, our values as desirable, uh, mirror the edges, and then you're just gonna turn off motion blur, uh, turn off the motion blur tag, for it, uh, turn this to seven, turn the frequency to seven, put the amplitude at the beginning from 2.5, uh, change the draw percentage to 20, and then you're gonna keyframe the amplitude back to zero. I'm gonna go off the grid here because I wanna make it last a little bit, so. I'm going to highlight the keyframes that's F9 with the graph editor. Make a simple graph like this. And then, as you can see, we have our, the beginning of our shake. So the shake is, is on its raw point. Then we're just going to adjust the value. So for this example, we're going to do 120. Our uh, random longitude for the X. Uh, change the random. So you don't change the frequency at all. Don't change the frequency. Um, for, but for Y shake, we're going to change the amplitude to 80, um, the frequency to 0 0.84, uh, Z shake to 65, and then the tilt shake to 1.15. And then we're going to add a, a seed of 1, one or uh, 1.8 is fine. So that's a good jug shake for you. I mean, you could also make it like this and make it like a maybe three point something would work so that's that's good too so that's how you can get a nice smooth judge shake and just if you want to you can um do most of the time on this clip since i have to be one frame so i'm just going to demonstrate here so i'm going to copy the shape here and move it to this clip here and then that's pretty good so yep that's how you get a good judge shake going so yeah thanks for watching